Alrighty, going non-stop, guys. We're investigating this stuff. We probably gotta check this, this lady's body. Anji's body. She's lying face down in the middle of the room. She's not face down. She's on her side. What do you mean? Are you going to take a closer look? Y yes, I was planning to. So let's hurry up and do it. We can't afford to waste any time here. Maki didn't hesitate. Maki goes from looking like cute to looking like she's gonna kill you really, really quick. Maki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over the body. She has no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. Do you guys know that the uh, the opposite of assassin is dick dick out? It's true. Man, she is mega. Uh, see here now we have the, the now I can look at the wax dolls. I want to look at this Kaide wax doll because she kind of has a sword through her chest. It's kind of weird. The four effigies hung upside down, making this makes the this the scene's weird. Is what we're trying to say here. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceilings. Man, they really just just you don't think about it at the time. Or did I actually no? I did. I felt like at some point I definitely said, "Yeah, someone's dying in this room." And then sure enough, they did because they go into the specifics of the room the first time we walked in. I'm I'm rambling. Anyway, ropes are dangling from the exposed beams. Sorry. Kinda has a sword through her chest. Sorry. If I remember correctly, how did you made all these wax figures? Is this rope from the warehouse? I believe so, and that means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten these ropes. This is how my posture usually is, but this is how it should be. Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. The warehouse does contain plenty of things that can be used for murder. Yeah, one or two things. Anyway, I know that these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. They look, they look so real. The effigies look exactly like real people. Not just their faces, but their bodies, too. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. Yeah, she really was the ultimate artist, after all. I mean, she's not playing around. By the way, why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm, I'm not sure. If it's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? True. Right, if they're going to do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit? Anji? Or someone else entirely? Effigy's hung upside down. It's like, oh, we want that. Weird. Alright, Anji. What's going on? She's definitely not face down. There's blood dripping from Anji's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of the neck. Ugh, god, that's a terrible way to go. As well as a laceration on her forehead. The killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck. Sneak attack, most likely. Then what, well, what do you make of this wound on her forehead? Maybe the culprit hit her in the head before stabbing her from behind. But her two wounds are substantially different. Didn't the culprit, did the culprit change weapons mid-attack? I suppose that would be unnecessary. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What is going on with these two wounds? Forehead injury has better truth was actually Huh? What's wrong, Maki? Move. Maki, push me aside, then lift Anji's body up by the shoulder. What's this doing crumpled underneath her? What's this doing cr crumpled by This is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? That's hair. I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Look, the hair stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Anji's, right? Yeah, they look pretty white. Bloody duct tape with Anji's hair on it. What could that mean? What could that mean? Bloody duct tape has been added to the truth bullet section of her monopad. I'm surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden under her body. It was, it was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Ah, uh, well, that's true. No need to be rude about it, but I'm fine, I suppose. Well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over it. Well then, it's a good thing you're all used to corpses, Maki. Huh? Do you want to die? S sorry, joking. Uh, I couldn't resist. You don't need to apologize. I was joking too. That didn't sound like a joke, though. Maki is very scary. He looks like a Necronomicon. Ah, this book. The instructions for the resurrection. Which one? This was the motive for the Necronomicon. Aren't you tried to perform the ritual written in this book, right? Yes. If we look at this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. Whoa. <laughs> the Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Have you seen inside this book yet? How weird. How much do you know about resurrection rituals? I'm an expert. That's why I wrote the tiny material. It's so easy. Anyone can do it. Even a monkey. Even a bear? What's a ritual? Do you want to take talk to a dead loved one again? This simple ritual will turn a retarded soul... Will turn a departed soul to the land of the living. Here's how. 
You know, that's whatever. Prepare an, eff <laughs> prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. The size and shape of the eff effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poison. Sprinkle the ashes of the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait. After a while, you should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. Weird. So these are the steps for the resurrection ritual. Hanji really believed in this crap? It's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. Necronomicon has been added to the truth bullet section of your mana pad. Neato. Hey, it's Gonto. I think that's everything here, right? Or do we need to click on all the different hanging dolls? Yeah, okay, so that's not helpful at all. Uh, alright. Time to talk to the time, time to talk to everybody who we haven't talked to yet. Why is she turned around? What is she doing? That's oh yeah we already, already discussed this. I already discussed this. Uh, all right. Unless we didn't. Oh whatever. It's too late now. Haha! <laughs> this busty brainy beauty has is all figured out. Huh? You mean you know who the culprit is? Huh? The culprit? Frick that! Should we change? Do we really have the time to be listening to her? Hey! Wait, God damn it! Are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? Just listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me. Listen. Uh, okay. Well, if you're gonna twist my arm, then I'll tell ya. You better thank me for this. I know you're dumber than fleas, but even you get how weird how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they a ritual? Whatever. But I figured it out with just one glance. These are diversions. Diversions. Yep. The corporate used these wax dolls to distract us from something. What do you mean by that? How should I know? Isn't that Sherlock Holmes' job? <laughs> You're a waste of time. Ow. I hit my leg on my desk. Maki turned and walked away. I can't say I blame her. Huh? How's her problem? Is she on the rag or something? So, Anji made these wax dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They, that's, they say the devil's in the details, you know? Let's just see how detailed they really are. Hey! Miu tried to look at the wax figure's skirt. What are you doing? Stop that! What? I just wanted to see if this doll was wearing panties. <laughs> Wait, do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend has a doll now? That is not an okay thing to say. If they like wax dolls so much, then go frick the doll already. That is genuinely disturbing. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to Miu is a waste of time. Alright, <laughs> moving on. Yeah, you. Uh, um, I'm not sure if it's okay to say this or not, but could Tenko be the culprit? Huh? Tenko? Uh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Kimiko say that Tenko was going to betray the student council. So you suspect Tenko? Because a member of the student council, as a member of the student council, she would have been al allowed into this lab. That's right, Anji did allow members of the student council to enter the, her lab. Yeah, Anji has been shut away here, sh been shut away here working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council, after all. It's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but since only student council members would have been let in here, so Andre only let in student council members. That would be Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Samugi. Of that group, Tenko was certainly the most suspicious. Samugi's account has been added to the truth bullet section of the What do you have to say for yourself, Gonto? What's going on in your head? A murder at night time is strange. Unpossible, even. Why do you think that? Because student council made rule that we no can be outside during night time. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could have happened at night time. Do you really think everyone would go along with that rule? But it ought to his rule. Anji say he punished us if we not follow his rules. But the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do whatever they wanted. Anji was also working here at night. Huh? She was? No, no way! Student council could never break own rules. They should have been asleep in their own rooms to set good example to others. Maybe Anji got attacked while she sleep in her room and get brought here. If so, Gonta could have saved her. If only Gonta saw. But Gonta was sleeping. Sorry, Anji. Gonta no could save you. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside in spite of the student council rule. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, uh, 
I feel like that's gotta be it for here, right? Like what? Like what? Huh. Alright, investigate the door. Maki's so gonna talk about the locks again, probably. Yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know if there's much else I can click on. I assume if there is, it'll be on Andrew's body, though. But uh, I really don't uh, don't really see a whole lot of nothing to be to be honest with you. Back door. Stores the left door. Sends the lights. The lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm lo I'm lost. I don't know what else to click on. It's unlocked. There's still things to investigate here. Uh, me you again. When in doubt, just talk to the same people again. Oh God, you're gross. <laughs> <laughs> Can I not? This really is like everything, dude. What else, what else is there? Do I just need to click on all the wax dolls? I doubt it. I doubt it, but maybe I do. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that gives me nothing. Yeah, that gives me nothing. Audi's body. I already looked at that one. But yeah, on his hair. Yeah, already. Uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot there. Click on this again. Why not? I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What about you? What about you? Where's your the council? Dude, what else is there in here? Does anyone know? Maki changes her sprite every two seconds, and it's creeping me out. Look. Every time you talk to her, she changes. Look at her. Look at her go. Oh. Why did she change randomly? That's weird. Front door? Don't want- oh, Dude! Dude, what?! What?! What is there?! Like, what?! Dude?! Alright, I guess I'll cut. Oh duh, it was duh, it was the katana. A katana, stabbed into Kyrie's wax effigy. Who did this, and why? Let me see. Yeah, that is weird. Maki nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled that out of the effigy. Oh, wait, this is a crime scene, you can't... You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do that if you don't pull it out. Y yes, true, but we have to preserve the scene. Oh, that's what the, why the gold dust was on the lot, because the, the, the katana, the, the katana. Besides the first game, there might have been a katana who also had gold. Maki paid no mind to my protest and stared at the katana for a while. It's probably a call back. It's a real katana, but there's gold leaf on it. Yeah, I believe it's the one that was on display in the Ultimate Anthropologist's lab. Hmm? Is that so? We can probably assume this is the murder weapon, judging from the blood stains on the tip. The edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be enough to stab. But why would they go through the effort of using this as a murder weapon? Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Perhaps it's because Q's lab is on the same floor. They just grabbed something close by. They may have been in a hurry. Or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. A long weapon? My lab doesn't contain swords or any weapon, other weapon of this length. Oh, really? I'm not sure how Wanakuma found out, but he must know I don't use swords for work. When I first started working, I botched a mission using a katana. I haven't used a sword since, which is fine, because they're a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them personally, just like Anji's was. But how do they know all this? Anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand now. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off that easily. Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I'll have to wash them later. Maki scolded me, then stood in front of the Kaide's effigy. I'm going to put the katana back where we found it. If it's too hard to watch, look away. Oh, thank you. I averted my gaze, and Maki stabbed the katana back into the wax effigy. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? A hanging wa wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual? Or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide a murder weapon than this. Then, what's the re what's the reason for this? I honestly have no idea. We should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Mm. Wrong accent. The ultimate anthropologist lab. Yes, let's do that. I want to make sure the katana indeed came from that room. 
Go leave Katana, has been out of the toothbrush after the monopad. I can't stop talking with that accent. It's just fun though, so you can't really blame me, dude. Alright, I think that What do you mean? What do you mean, dude? What? What is there what could there possibly else be there here to be investigating? Maybe it's just like, yeah, talk to Maki again, because they do that a lot. Never mind. I was wrong. Dude, what? What? What could it be? Do I have to buzz again? I'm wasting so much time by pausing. Oh, uh, back to the rules. I don't really understand what you want me to do. I don't really know what I'm supposed to click on at this precise moment in time. Katana. None of them, none of them have anything else. What am I possib- what could I possibly be missing, dude? What could I possibly be missing? Just talk to everyone again. Just talk to everyone again. That's what happens when you- That's what happens. Why don't you go bang a doll, you freaking freak. Alright, and then go just gonna say something else. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Well. Can't leave, huh? It's unlocked. Yep. Yeah, see, Maki gets all weird, randomly. I don't really understand why she's like that. Alright, guess I'll cut AGAIN! Alright. Alright, you gotta you gotta click on the blood. You gotta click on the dang blood, apparently. You make it click on the freaking blood. A small pool of blood has emanated from Andre's torso. This can't be from her forehead. This blood is from the back of her neck. This blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Andre was killed. Maybe more. Whoa. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Hmm. Anji's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Maki, what's wrong? It's not that important, but the only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at least. That guy is useless. Anyway, let's continue. Alright, that's gotta, that's gotta be it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry up. Ah, you're right. First, we should investigate the ultimate anthropologist's lab. We may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. We need to check if the katana really did come from that place. There's something wrong, Maki. It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. It's not as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. It's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. Yeah, I like her. I like mine. She's neat. Alright, get me out of here. Been in here like 20 minutes, dude. Not really, though. But long enough that I'm like, ugh. Oh boy, I'm stretching quickly because I gotta stretch real quickly. Ugh. Oh. Man, that was a nice stretch. Gotta be honest with you. <laughs> Anthropologist lab. Let me in. Let me in! I do that joke every week. Man, that did not make my hair look good, did it? Look at that. Look at that. You can make my hair do the wave. It's pretty sick. Man, I get distracted so easily. I'm not even a like ADD or anything. I'm just dumb. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf that down is from... It's just the sheath! Earlier, the katana was inside the sheath. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm certain of it. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab, after all. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken it. Yeah, I guess, I said it could have been Kyo. It was, I said it was almost definitely Kyo, but now that I think about it, I mean... It is a little bit too obvious, don't you think? Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. Gold leaf katana has been... Oh, look who it is! Ooh, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the seance? <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that is your signature look. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Something for the seance? Yup, that white sheet over there. 
man. You know, I gotta say, Kokichi has such an awesome, unique design. Like, just look at him. Like, his his clothes, like, his little handkerchief, his check... It, he just looks cool. He's just a, just a good character design. We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that she too. I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. That's why I figured I'd do a little research on this seance before I got the sheet. Huh? Study. So, let's see. Kokichi took a look around and I heard it was like some old handmade book. Oh, is this it? Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover, so this must be it. Let's see. What does it say about the Cage Child Seance? Kokichi flipped to the old book he picked up. Oh, is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can see the cage child is mentioned here. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, Kyo's drawing this Kyo's drawing the same magic circle as the one in the picture. Okay, let's see. In order to burn the cage child, we need five people, including the spirit medium, and a dark place with no light. Just like Kyo said. First, draw the magic circle pressed down from the cage dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle, and rest their forehead on a stone on the ground. Afterwards, the other four participants must put the iron cage over their spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. And finally, the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. Also, it says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. The dog god? What do you mean the wooden dog statue? When preparations are complete, turn out all lights to turn out all lights to com to create complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are each standing at a corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the cage child song. This is gonna be so creepy. After the song, ask, "Is the cage child?" Then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. Weird, dude. That sounds complicated. Will they get it off? Uh, will they? Will they? Will they pull it off next time? We'll see. Time.